Greetings, in today's video, I will show you how to draw slap and beams on this cool project using Akikad. All we need is for you to stay laser focused and watch while practicing. Enough talking, subscribe, let's get started. Okay, last class we ended by doing this. So today we are going to put slaps on this building and um, to put the slap, we'll start with the slap on the ground floor, five centimeters thick. So I'm going to click on slaps. And I'm going to send it to 0 0.05, means 5 centimeters thick. We'll use concrete structural. Uh, we are going to use tiles and dirt. You can feel free to choose. So now to put the, the slab here, we're going to go to slab though. I'm going to choose this geometry polygonal and um, highlight here. I'm going to just trace all the interior and go inside. So you can do your tracing and you trace all the internal parts of the building and we have a flooring with a tile on top so we can go to 3d and look at what we have done so we can see that we have put tiles in the building here's the dining here's the parlor here's the reading room the strangers room and the toilet space so we are going to put slabs on the first floor of the building so i'm just going to right click here and go to first story on first story we are going to put a slab of 20 centimeters thick so i'm going to click on slab tool and uh, the slab here will be 20 centimeters thick and i'll still maintain my ties but now take note at the bottom here i'll have to click this so that they don't join so the surfaces are not linked and um, on the top i want on the floor of the first floor i want the same ties as on the ground floor and uh, on the sides i want yellow rough and below i want spherical white rough so it means we are going to paint our ceiling with a white paint and um, i'll just press ok so i'll still do the same thing i'll trace all trace all the interior start from here Slap is 20 centimeters thick so i'll go into my first story and look at it so now we can see that i now have a slab on top of my on top of my floor so if i take a staircase here i have a slab now we have to cut out this area so we see that the staircase area is not open so the staircase area is covered so we have to cut it out so i'll go back to my first story and i'm going to click on slab and i'm going to choose any end any note here so i'll come and hover over this note and click and i'm going to see a minus here i'm going to click on the minus and because i want a rectangle i'm going to click on geometry rectangular i hover over here where i want the slab to end and uh, just have to click and subtract so i just click you see as you can see the place is now white so it's subtracted so i can go now into my 3d and check so here you can see that the slab now has been for the beams we are just going for the external geometry and um, click on beams your height of your beam is set up at 0 0.25 and the breadth at 0 0.15 so i'm going to click ok and um, for me to be able to put my beams the first thing is i have to hover over here and uh, beams are naturally set to use axis line but want you to follow this wall outside so i'm going to come here and hover over this when i meet it's when i see reference axis and offset and i'm going to change this to 0 0.075 as you can see we have inputted the ground beam but we have a little bit of issue because the ground beam has covered windows so over where i can click on the ground beam go to story settings and um, insert the story below and i'm going to put it with foundation and the story height i want it to be negative 1.50 meters and um, press ok i'm going to have ground floor here and when i go down this will be foundation so the beam will be showing beneath here so i'm just going to go to my structure and um, i'm going to see that my beam now is okay and if you go to foundation the beam has gone down this way so it will no longer disturb us we have to put a slab in front of this place a slab of 20 so i'm going to click on slab and uh, this is concrete 
so we are just going to use stone structurer and uh, i'm going to change this to and go to sliding and take dark slide okay and i'll just have to hover over here and form a slap so as you can see we have formed the slap here and it's going down as you can see this slab isn't 20 the, the slab that we did for this foundation is 20 but this one is 15 so we will have to readjust this to 25 i'll come here and i'm going to add the slab to be 0 0.25 and it perfectly fits this now on we are going to move on to the first story and i'm going to put the slab in front the slab here too is click on slab and i'll set it to 20 it's already set to 20 instead of dark here i'm going to change it back to siding light and hover over here and form my slab so as you can see we have a slab now on the first story So the next slab we're supposed to put here is the ceiling that will be on top of this building so click on slab and uh, i'm going to make the slab thickness to be 0 0.05 highlight all to be the same and uh, choose plaster stucco i'll come down and choose stucco red rough press an ok and i'm just going to put it trace all the internal parts so here i'm going to click here over here click and uh, i'm going to take my slab to three meters so since the slab is 0 0.05 i'm going to take it to 2.95 and uh, press enter i'm going to come here and discover that it'll be full this our slab is supposed to be 2.95 so i'm just going to click here and drag this to take the top apart and as you can see this this is our ceiling that we have used to cover the structure so the next thing we are supposed to do is to form the, the arc that was in front of this building and to be able to do that we are going to go to options we we'll use complex profile the profile manager i'm going to click on edit and use drafting and on drafting i'm going to start drawing so i'm going to type in 0 0.2 and hover over here and click 2.65 enter and uh, from 2.65 i'll come on over over here click here that's 0 0.2 and i'm going to draw in 2.85 so click here over over this place and uh, i'll click from here to here highlight on this line click at the center and uh, use the tangent edit segment using tangent and i'm going to click here so i'll form that beautiful arc and uh, above here i'm going to have above here i'm going to draw a line again to go up 0 0.2 just going to over over here and make them to be the same so I'm going to move to construction over over here and form a line just trace trace and when I'm here I'm going to form this arc so to be able to form this arc I'll come to arc by three points so here is my first point I'm going to search for my second point and um, finally I'm going to use my third point so I'm just going to trace and click. I'm going to use straight segment to complete my profile. So as you can see, we have formed the profile. Come here and save it as arch. Okay. Then I'm going to click close. I'll move to my ground floor and um, I'm going to click on my walls then I'm going to come on the third this third one here which is basic composite com complex profile and I'm going to choose on arch then press ok here I'm just going to draw it out 
and type in 0 0.15 so I'm going to have something like this and I'll move to 3d I press O so that I can be able to rotate and um, remove back the O I'm going to choose a point on top of this complex profile so I'm going to choose a point I prefer this point and I'm going to drag it and paste it here Take a bit and see how it's going to look like so I have something like this change the material of this this is uh, we're going to use wood so I'm going to look for wood come over to walls and um, move to model I'm going to join all of them to be the same and search for wood on wood I'm going to use wall not horizontal for both and I'm going to click OK so we have wood in front we have to put a beam that is going to attach from here to this side so I'm going to go to first story and I'm going to put a beam here so I'm going to click on beam and uh, the fall of the beam will be 0 0.15 and the thickness will be 0 0.15 so I'll just click and I'm going to look for reference and make sure it's 0 0.08 so it's there I'm going to click here and form the beam okay. so Okay, so we can see we have formed the beam here and uh, there's our slab with our arc and a beam here. The next 